Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to interface our ADC with the STM32 F401RE. In fact, this board have an internal ADC and uh, there are multiple channels in each ADC. So, we will generate the code using STM CubeMX and it is very simple. Just you need to click on a new project and select here board. The board type is Nucleo64 and MCU is F4 select this 401RE ok then clear all pinouts and into the RCC select clock crystal and ceramic resonator and system and leave and uh, other things and select here IDC 1 input 0 it is a P0 okay and then come to the clock configuration it is fine into the configuration and uh, we need to come here into the ADC one no interrupt into GPIO setting leave as it is come to the parameter settings let's make it into the discontinuous mode even you can make it in uh, continuous mode but for time being let's make it into the con continuous mode and the resolution is 12 bit but you can select 12 to 6 bit 12 10 8 and the 6 bit resolution but 12 bit resolution is fine and uh, leave other things as it is then click on ok let's generate the code then it will pop up for the settings into the setting let's make it ADC and for IDE version 5 and copy only the necessary files and then click on OK. Let's open our project. See when you open your project you can see here into the application user there are three files only we need to modify main file. Into the main file uh, let us create a variable which will read our ADC so the private variables user code begins from here user private variables let's make it uint 16 underscore t and the ADC value is equal to the 0 for time being and here we need to write our ADC code at this place but we don't know what type of function we need to write just to come to the function and expand this ADC okay here you can see first of all that we need to call the ADC start so here is ADC start all ADC start is here so we need all ADC fine and there is code start then we need to give the address of handle that is HADC1 first ADC and then sorry why it is giving error hall ADC is fine ok it may be giving error but it don't show you any error here ok and next then we need to poll for conversion so here see HAL ADC poll for conversion HAL underscore ADC underscore poll for conversion into poll for conversion handle type of ADC1 H ADC1 and then the timeout let's set that 100 millisecond timeout ok and then the next one is ADC get value so the ADC get value so uh, we can read it into the ADC value which we have already defined ADC value hal underscore ADC underscore get value and that is from a handle of ADC1 and let's add some delay hal delay 
let's say only the hundred millisecond delay okay so that's that that's that's all now let's compile it zero error zero warning and the code size is 3.6 kb and go into the debug menu into main what we can uh, uh, what we can do to watch window we can write our ADC value variable ADC value initially it is 0 and its type is unsigned sort fine and let's put a breakpoint here and run until breakpoint comes and let's go here see now it is waiting so if we remove breakpoint here and let's see our variable this variable into the decimal point and let's run it see how it is varying here so it is just taking a random value of ADC okay thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for next tutorial and for more tutorials subscribe and if you have any problem just comment below